Uh, all right, and we're back with the third episode of the Mongolian campaign. Fuck! Stupid goddamn rebels. Stop being cunts. I don't know if the Russians have events. I, I don't take Siberia like this very often, so I don't know if the Russians have a bunch of events or if they're just going to declare war or what, so I don't know how many troops to leave on that border. Okay, push to Tanshua. That's our one chance to take anything out of this. Fuck. God damn it. Hey, look what we got. More cavalry. Perfect timing. Well, not perfect. It would have been nice to have them earlier. But, you know, whatever. There. Did we finally kill the fucking partisans? Yes. So those two will meet up in Kurzel and put that together. These ones will meet up in Murin. These two will meet up in Ulaanbaatar. Integration of Southern Siberia. Nice. So we're up to 80 industrial capacity. That's actually a big bonus. Oh, they took Yintron back. Sad. Okay, you guys in Ulaanbaatar, get down here and take Yintron. You guys, get down here. Get here. You guys, get down here. Get ready for fighting the, the king. Ching. I don't know how to pronounce that. Should really just look it up, but hey, hey, our policy can be changed. Um, I'm gonna go more towards standing army. We can't raise a ton of troops, but we can at least make them fucking badass as hell. Attack Landro now, everybody. We've got the advantage at this point. Just gotta take Tianshua before they do. We'll get some land. What did we finish? Oh, construction. Okay. Now we're going to move into upgrading our production speed. Production ability, I guess. That's what you'd call it. And attack. Just push in and take it. Got some of the best cavalry in the world. 
You've got you're being led by the fucking field marshal, Genghis Khan the second, and you're fighting shitty militiamen. Just go for it. Get in here. Get in here and go for it. God damn it, take this before the the other guys do. Well, what did we finish? God damn it. Fuck. God fucking get. Uh. Why are they focusing on me and not the fucking king? The National Protection Alliance is... <laughs> wow. Fucking attack. Take it. Go. Push. Take. Prevent anyone else from taking it. You attacked first. Say the fuck out of here, king. Oh, they took another important piece of land, I think. I think they just took the capital of king. All right, they annexed it, but we got one piece of land out of it. Okay, start spreading our troops out back onto their border. They're going to start going to war with us any time now. Huh. Oh, well, great. Agree to come to the table. Let's see what they want to offer us. Okay. Well, we asked them to like, give us some money for it, and they said, no, we're going to just go to war with you. So, fuck them, essentially. Push now while the iron's hot. Just fucking get in there. Smash the fuck out of them. Take as much land in the north as they can. This isn't an impossible war. It's just one that's kind of a little bit hard. Start making more militia. Done this before, so... You don't have to worry too much.
Let's make it so we can like disguise our communications a little bit so they don't know what we're doing ahead of time. Get some ciphers in there. God damn it. This battle's a little bit harder than I'm used to. Troops aren't going to be able to have quite as easy of a time anymore. I hope Russia doesn't want to join in. Thanks the Soviets for... Hold on to uh, Petrograd as long as you can, Soviets. Hold on to Stalingrad there, or Leningrad, or whatever one that is. Just as long as you can, because... Holy fuck. I don't want to have to deal with two people. Okay, stop pushing there. Let them spread out a bit. That's the thing is that they have really shitty troops. Well, they have more troops than us and they're only about as shitty as ours are. But usually if we're smart about things, we can attack in multiple different places and make lower their ability to to defend. If we had tanks and shit, we could encircle a bunch of them, but I'm going to bet, and this might be a bad bet, but I'm going to bet before August I'll be able to have those uh, more militia. So these horses are more important over here than they are over here if we can get those militia back in time. That is my bet. That's what I'm pegging my money on right now. Rhodesia pulling some stuff. How oh, the fuck? Fuck you. What we have to do is attempt to shorten the make the border smaller. Swear to God, if the National Protection Alliance goes to war with us, I'm going to fucking kill someone. How? Damn it. Fuck.
It's obviously going to be a hard fight, fought war. I don't think I've completely lost everything yet. Just got to wait for more troops to come up. We have more industrial capacity than them. They have airplanes and stuff, sadly, so it's not an even fight. We got about five more minutes left in the stream, I think. I didn't want to stream a ton, but we'll have a few episodes to upload for the people that didn't watch, everyone but Shampai. <laughs> Just how dare people not watch my stream at 1 p.m. on a Sunday? Take Pinglan. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, I really hate this. In July, we're going to have more horsemen. Moving up four more divisions. This will help. Nice. Oh, I've got eight there. Okay. God, I hate the Chinese. I will not be a kind con over the Chinese for this. They're gonna fucking pay. Pay with their goddamn lives. Oh, great, we got pushed out of Pinyan. Great. Just what we wanted. Hey, look who showed up. Two more cavalry divisions. Your fucking days are numbered, you goddamn fucking animals. Motorized infantry are required, so we got to start researching those a little bit. Mm. All right, well, this is where we're at for the Mongolians. Um, I'm going to stop my stream and stuff for now and the recording. Thanks for watching, both in the stream or as these videos, and uh, yeah, 
I'll be streaming again soon, I'm sure. Bye.